kicks in the game for more limb. Meninga pulled down the uh, rebound, but I'll tell you, Brakovich has had a big night for Davidson. Lee, of course, 17 points. Jones with a career-high 21 points. Alabama has double-figure scoring from Shackelford with 20, Gary with 15, and Quinterly with 13. Yeah, the, their A game has picked up, particularly Davidson coming here. They got into a little lull late in the ball game. Alabama showing their firepower with the 9-0 run in the last minute and 33 seconds. It'll be interesting to see what kind of pressure they can put on, on Davidson right here and what type of offensive play that Davidson can have drawn up to inbound this basketball with 3.3 seconds to go. Now you can't run the baseline here. Luka Brankovic has to stay right where he is with Betty Yako defending. Long throw, mid-floor, it's tipped in the air once, twice. The clock is down to exactly a second and a free throw up coming for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Good, good look by the inbounder. He saw as everyone was up, he noticed that Alabama was not was playing up the line. He only had one yeah, pass. Davidson, he threw it all the way. Davidson not in the bonus, Great so no free play. throw here. But a second remains. They've just got to get it to somebody and touch it. There they do. And a reach-in foul with one-tenth of a second remaining. Great execution by wow. Davidson on the, on the out-of-bounds. 3.3 seconds ago, Alabama defended it very, very well. They were able to release one deep and threw it all the way down to their big man. Alabama's got to do a little bit better coverage, tighter coverage in that particular situation, denying all passes. Davidson able to come in here and sneak out with a win. And there it's banked off the leg of Bediaco, and that is it. The Davidson Wildcats behind that man, Bob McKillop, go on the road. And as you see, their first win against a top 10 team since they beat the Wisconsin Badgers in 2008.